Hi, it's Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool. Today I'm exhausted, but I still wanted to share with you, and uh, my iPad got updated last night, so nothing's working the way that it normally does, so bear with me. Um, today I dropped off my son, our son, out to take advantage of a five-day sailing expedition that he earned his passage for this summer. Um, out of Long Beach, California, there's a ship called the Tolly Moor, and they sail for five days where they teach the kids how to actually sail the 156-foot wooden sailboat as well as study marine biology. So they get to snorkel, they get to swim with sea lions, they get to kayak, they get to boogie board. It's one of those lifetime experiences. And the reason I wanted to share it with you is that this is his third trip out there, and I actually have another son that's going next week as well on a three-day and they both earned their way onto these, these passages. Um, the, these type of experiences are not within the $10, $20 range. They're, you count them more in the hundreds of dollars. And we talked to both the kids and we said, look, if, if this is something that you'd really like to do, then you need to work hard to earn it. And they both did. Uh, they weed weeded, they cut people's lawns, they helped build fences, all kinds of stuff. And as a parent, sometimes we can feel guilty if we don't provide everything for our kids. But I wanted to talk to you today because sometimes the best thing we can do is to not provide it for them and to allow them to sweat and to work hard, to earn their way. Uh, my son that's out on the ocean right now does not regret, regret one second that he spent this summer sweating and in the hot sun and laboring in order to earn his way on this boat. And I wanted to encourage you to allow your kids to do that kind of thing as well. Um, and that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. If you wanted to get a glimpse at the boat that he's on, uh, you can find me on Facebook at um, A Better Way to Homeschool on Facebook. And you can also find me on a abetterwaytohomeschool.com. Um, if you like our videos, if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't want you to miss anything. And on a side note, I wanted to let you know that I'm exhausted today. I've been up since about 3.45, and um, the ship that we dropped our son off on is about three, three and a half hours away from where we live. And because we live in the mountains, um, I thought it would be a brilliant idea to go grocery shopping on my way home. So not only did I spend six or six and a half hours in the car just to drop him off at the boat, but then I spent another couple hours uh, grocery shopping. And as a homeschool mom, sometimes we really stretch ourselves thin. So um, I wanted to encourage you that if you're tired today, you're not the only one. Um, it's okay to make a really easy, simple dinner. Um, if you don't have, double the next freezable recipe that you have and put half of it in the freezer for a day such as today um, that you can just pull something easily out of the freezer and have a home-cooked meal for your kids and for your husband. Um, anyway, this is Becky with The Better Way to Homeschool. I hope you had a wonderful day with your kids and that you got to snuggle and hug them. Um, today's gone, and I pray that you had a wonderful day with your kids. And if not, that's okay. Just start over again tomorrow. Purpose to enjoy your kids, to soak up their smiles, to soak up their energy. They really do grow up really, really quickly. And you don't want to look back on these homeschool years as years that you wished that you could do over. So anyway, if you have any comments or questions, um, that's what the comment field for is underneath these videos. I'd love to address anything that you have a question about. And I'd also love to read your encouraging comments um, that could encourage our other viewers as well. So anyway, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.